All right, so starting with a tropical overview, of course, we're going to look a little bit closer to home here. So if you noticed, we're back to 40% chance of development. If you've been following this along with us, first it was at 40%, then it dropped down to 30 earlier today, and now it's back up at 40. So what's going on here? Well, I'll tell you, there's uh, two areas that we have our eyes on. The one being the area that's in the Caribbean that has a potential for development. It's kind of disorganized, a little sloppy right now. That is going to be our primary rainmaker as we move into the end of the weekend, come Sunday night into Monday early next week. This area right here, this orange circle, what this means is we could have something develop that's tropical anywhere in this orange highlight over the next week. The probability of that happening is 40%, which is about a medium chance. But they just bumped up that chance because of this. We're going over to the Pacific. Right around here, we have all those bright colors, right? This is satellite imagery, so you're looking at cloud tops. This isn't rain, you're looking at cloud tops. And uh, what we have here in the Pacific Basin, which the Pacific is separate from the Atlantic when we talk about storm names, the time of the season beginning, but we have a weakening tropical system here, a depression that could cross over the Yucatan into the Gulf of Mexico, which then would become our system, and it could redevelop. And by that time, it could move into the Gulf of Mexico and bring us more rain. So we're a ways uh, out from that. But what we're telling you here is we're watching this for development to see if that system actually crosses over the Yucatan and forms. It's going to encounter some wind shear and some land, and that's going to uh, keep it weaker for a few days. But that's just an overview of what's going on there. We also have Kirk that's been uh, upgraded to a Category 4 storm earlier today. Kirk is going to move off to the north and out to the east away from the states. But it can cause some rough surf and some large swells along the east coast as we move into this weekend as well. Anybody that's traveling, Leslie is a tropical storm.